Ladies and gents, welcome back. I was going to make this a fun one and show you guys an embarrassing bit of footage of Justin Trudeau and his cohorts in Ukraine trying to hang a Canadian flag. Yeah, that was really terrible. But today it's a little bit more pressing issues going on. And this is coming from Libs of TikTok today. This one really tug on my heartstrings because, uh, well, this this is a Colorado mom who explains how her middle school child was invited to join a secret GSA club where the teacher w spoke about gender and sexuality while urging students to hide information from their parents. And this has become a trend. And if you don't, <laughs> I know this is mainly a Canadian audience, but if you don't think that this culture is coming up here to Canada, you would be gravely mistaken. But let's, ha let's hear the words of this woman and what she has to say. And one day her trusted art and homeroom teacher invited her to stay after school for art club. So she texted us and we gave our permission. Of course you can stay for art club. When she arrived in the classroom that day, she very quickly learned that it was actually GSA art club or gender and sexuality awareness. And her trusted teacher had invited in an outside presenter to speak with the children. Um, this presenter started with her number one rule, what you hear in here stays in here. She then brought out flags to describe different umbrella terms or defining words as she called them and how people feel under each of the flags. She explained to my daughter that if she is not 100% comfortable in her female body, then she's transgender. She then gave out flags, stickers, bracelets, and what she called the obligatory toys that kids love to collect everywhere I go. Um, she then told the kids that parents aren't safe and that it's, it's okay to lie to them about where they are in order to attend this meeting and also future programming that she holds throughout the community, um, both online and in person. Some of the programming is actually uh, includes adults. So she's got 12 year olds in these meetings secretly with adults. Um, she told the kids that uh, she brought out the gender bread activity. I don't know if you've ever seen that before, but I the have. The gender bread person activity, which explains that gender and sexuality are on a spectrum and that neither can ever be binary. Um, it explicitly asked the kids who they're sexually attracted to. Um, there was 11, 12, and 13 year olds in the room when this happened. Um, she doubled down that parents aren't safe, that heterosexuality and monogamy are not normal. And she then proceeded to hand out her personal contact information to the kids, encouraging them to connect with her without their parents' knowledge um, by cell phone, by email, and by teen chat platforms like WhatsApp uh, and Discord, where parents can't see the communication. She also sends them invites to her secret meetings through these channels. So this brings on a conversation of a broader and one day her a broader topic of what rights do parents have with the things that are being taught in their in the kids' schools? And what rights do we have to know about what's being taught in the schools? And we see clearly here, this was hidden as a art art class and not not aware, uh, parents not being uh, made aware of what was happening. Obviously, this uh, this woman has a good relationship with her child, and the child definitely did not follow suit with uh, keeping this away from her mother. And that's uh, that's a good thing. So <laughs> always have a great relationship with your kids so that they'll communicate with you and don't fall victim to grooming in this sense. Now, grooming has been a, a big concern as of late because there's a lot of these stories coming out of uh, public schools in the United States, I know of for sure. Um, we hear stories of CRT being introduced into, into the classroom in Canada, especially in Ontario at the moment. And a lot of parents are genuinely concerned. And I, I, I happen to fall in that camp as well. And we all want to make sure that the, the school is a safe place for our children to go to, as well as uh, places like Disneyland. And we, we've noticed uh, trends going in the wrong way now of course you have the the typical people on the internet clapping back and and throwing what about isms out at everyone else we have uh this individual with a uh lumberjack uh, 
picture in his profile saying, I believe this is called grooming. And I, I'd have to agree if you if you got if you're teaching your kids hateful ideology like this. But I quickly replied, sure, you could focus on the dozens of them. The rest of us are going to go after the thousands of child predator groomers in the elementary school system and entertainment industry. Now, this has become a movement uh, of concerned parents. And <laughs> let me tell you, mama bears and papa bears, papa bears are not going to be too thrilled when uh, people get in, in between them and their children, especially when they get talking about things like uh don't tell your parents and here's my personal phone number you can call me anyway i wanted to leave this one out there for you guys leave a comment in the comment section down below how you feel about this situation am i blowing this out of proportion do you think this is a, a nothing burger i happen to think it's a, a very gravely concerning thing in our society today uh but yeah you tell me how you feel and what you think uh should be done about this in particular Leave that in the comment section down below. We'll see you in the next video. Keep on trucking.